How many of you have heard of um, menopause? Raise your hand. Say, so, now even the guys are raising their hand. <laughs> oh, I know about that one. <laughs> Well, up until about 1958, every doctor used to make 50 cents on dispensing a little herbal formula called Lydia Pinkham's. How many of you heard of Lydia Pinkham's? Yeah. Lydia Pinkham's, very famous herbal formula, and we get rid of the hot flashes, the night sweats. But doctors only made 50 cents when they dispensed a bottle. In 1958, pharmaceutical companies came out with HRT, hormone replacement therapy. And uh, all the research was done by veterinarians, and they were told not to give it to humans because it did terrible things to the laboratory animals. They said, well, that may be true in laboratory animals, but it hasn't been proven in humans yet. We're going to have to kill a lot of women with this stuff before we get you know, too excited about taking it off the market. And so they began to encourage women to take HRT in 1958. It turns out that HRT, estrogen and progesterone combinations, Premarin and, and drugs like this, increase the risk of breast and uterine and ovarian cancer by 78%. Increase the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease by 200%. Increase the risk of cardiovascular disease by 200%. And a new study that just came out a couple of days ago, and again, I don't have a slide for it yet, and I apologize, uh, increases your risk of asthma by 100%, increases your risk of uh, gradual deafness as you get older by 30%. Why would anybody want to take HRT? Well, Dr. Wallach, you've got to get rid of the hot flashes some way. I said, well, why would you risk all these terrible things just to get rid of hot flashes and night sweats? See, you're just a man. You have no idea. I mean, women used to beat me up all the time in my practice. I said, well, it's not worth it. And so we went back to the old Lydia Pinkham's formulas. And guess what? Worked like a charm. There's 29 major studies which shows it gets rid of the hot flashes and night sweats. Then you throw in the liquid calcium, and guess what? 1,200 milligrams per serving. You deal with the concerns about uh, osteoporosis. And you don't have to have all the risk from the HRT. You don't have to have all the risk from HRT. This came out actually in 2000, and they said, and they predicted that the report on carcinogens or cancer-causing chemicals, which, which was going to come out in January of 2002, is going to list estrogen as a cancer-causing chemical. Well, guess what? That report comes out every year, and guess what's at the top of the list of cancer-causing chemicals? Estrogen. What makes it most dangerous is doctors prescribe it. Doctors prescribe it. 